click on the subscribe button to stay updated on awesome tech yarn. Also, click on the bell icon to ensure that you are always updated whenever a new video is posted on this channel. Hello friends, my name is Shovik and you're watching Shovik Says, the channel that helps you decipher tech. Well, you would have seen me unbox the power pack LED light that I have started using as the primary light for my videos. However, there was a challenge that I was facing was that the light was too harsh and the diffuser that came along with that light was not sufficient enough to reduce the glare on my face when I was shooting. As a result of which, you know, at times my eyes were completely dazzled. I couldn't even realize as to where the lens exactly was and, you know, it resulted in me losing eye contact as well. So, to avoid that, I recently came across a product on Amazon that I decided to order and I've received the package today. It is a softbox for a speed light flash. So my concern is it might not be the correct size for the light that I'm using. So what happens? Does this become a simple unboxing or does this turn into an interesting DIY? Let's take a look, shall we? So here is the package and along with it my trusty paper cutter, scissor and of course the newer LED light that we're going to try this product on. So let's get into the package real quick. This softbox or diffuser or whatever you may like to call it actually comes in the form of a bag. Let's quickly open this up and see what it contains inside. Alright, so there's another package inside the bag and I'm going to quickly remove this. And here it is. So there is a small opening at the back and the diffuser is up front. Now the problem that I had foreseen seems to be true. I do not know how do I fit in my light through this small opening because you know this opening is primarily for a speed light flash that you fix on top of your camera. So let me quickly give it a shot and see if you know if I can somehow I probably will not need this um, you know the cold shoe mount here because I any which way is place the light on top of the teleprompter nowadays and if you are not aware of what I'm talking about you can go up here and look at the card and I'll just try and fit this in somehow if it goes in I can then you know switch it on and make uh, the light look a little bright okay what I can also do is get rid of this so let me see if I can put this in now. If not, I'll have to do a little bit of DIY all over again to, you know, make this fit in. Ah, it's it's difficult. It's difficult. So let me just speed it up a little while I try to fit fit this in. Oh, there's a Velcro as well. Oh my God, I didn't know that. Okay, interesting. Alright, so as I said, I'm going to speed this up now and once I'm done, I'll uh, just resume playback. Well, it seems that this thing will not go in, um, in its current form, so I'll just try to, you know, snip it a little from the sides. I'll just get this light out and, you know try and snip it from here and here so that you know the opening is a little bigger and then I'll give it a try again so let me see I'll just try and rip off the seams so 
also I had to rip out quite a lot actually in order to fit this light so as you can see this side is completely opened up and this side though not opened to that great extent it's you know kind of similarly open so I have a bigger opening now the light is somehow fitting in um, what I'm planning to do is you know to leave it like this because if I have to you know get the batteries out for recharging I can simply press this open this lid up and pull out the batteries charge them and put them back in and close it back like this and the dial is also kind of easily accessible so if I just turn it on like this I'll not show it on the camera because you know it'll be too bright but as you can see it's doing its work and I've checked and the diffusion it's pretty good as well all right friends that should be it if you like the video give it a big thumbs up if you hated it put it down and please do consider subscribing because we are going to bring you awesome tech account in the future as well you can also connect with us through facebook twitter and google plus link to them provided in the description Below. You guys have a good time and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.